Anyway, um, my understanding of time and space is slightly different than other people because I was here just basically elevating the Earth like I had with Terran and many other planets, and I had my own spaceship, and, you know, I mean, creator of humanity, just kicking it here. And originally, people didn't really understand that I was... Someone didn't understand that I was a creator of humanity and nine other races. I was just a, another person, or I looked like another person, or I looked like another something or other. Like I say, I, I'm not really, you know, I don't go around, I didn't go around normally saying, Hey, I'm the creator of humanity and nine races, what's up? But I was, and somebody didn't know that. So anyway, um, maybe they just thought I was the Lord of the Earth or something like that. Anyway, so they started um, doing things on my planet, which I did not agree with. Um, killing people, uh, basically acting like a piece of you-know-what. And I don't know, maybe they had traveled from future Earth or future some other planet Anyway, they started mucking up and mucking around, and of course the people on the Earth knew who I was, as well as the other planets around the solar system knew who I was. The other races. Um, quite a few other, other races, actually, originally knew who I was. And anyway, it took them a while to kind of figure out who I was or what I was. Um, like I said, I didn't go around boasting or saying, and this, these are actually some of the first videos where I actually tell the world or tell people who I was and what I was. Anyway, I was just kind of, you know, managing the Earth, raising up the people, you know, the Earth, it's my planet, and I wanted my people to be happy and healthy and all that, and I was just doing my little thing. Anyway, somebody comes in, and they start making a whole mess of this place, and, and I'm like, whoa, I don't think so, and I'm like... Um, and other races know who I am, um, at the time, and the earth knows who I am, but somebody doesn't know who I am. Maybe somebody from the future, maybe somebody from somewhere else, I don't know. I mean, even AI in space at one time knew who and what I was. And I was just doing my thing, you know, just kicking it, chilling, watching humanity, watching the earth, um, not really living it up or anything like that. I don't really live it up. You know, I basically was just, you know, kicking it. Um, originally, I was in time and space and would have been kicking it with the Earth, um, with the people. And then later on, uh, I was just kind of like overseeing everything and just, you know, kind of making sure everybody, you know, building my little planet, you know, and making sure everybody was fed, making sure everybody had a house, you know, doing the things, you know, teaching people things. You're all raising up humanity, basically, um, to a higher tech civilization. Anyway, somebody gets the bright idea that they want to take over. Uh, yeah, um, or something. And when they start doing that, well, it pisses me off. It pisses off the people of the earth. It pisses off my other nine races. And eventually these people try and take me hostage. And, and they start, you know, like killing people, living, living in time and space, like the, the king or something like that. They have like future technology, so they, so they don't die, but I don't die. And I'm the creator of humanity and nine other races. And, and so it, it gets to be the big battle where, where they have future technology and they're like, we're blah, 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 you know, and it's like, and then, and then like, but it's like, no, um, creator of humanity and nine other races, do you mind? Anyway, so then they have to get technology on the earth or something like that. They, maybe they get trapped in time and space. I don't know. But basically, they really fucked up. And then they have to, like, try and get around me. And it's like, uh, yeah, before the dinosaurs. And, like, basically been here for, like, a trillion years. And this is me. And I've just been chilling, basically. Um... I never was living like a king or anything like that. Like most of the places are factories or whatever, you know. I just basically keep people safe, keep my my people safe, and um, you know, I do my thing, my technology thing and stuff. Anyway, somebody wanted to like do whatever and thought they were spiffy cool time lord or whatever like that, and um, and they had a time ship or something and they were zipping around trying to take over the world or something like that. It's like. 
Yeah, I never use time travel. I've just been here that long. So anyway, so anyway, they take me hostage, and and they're using like Earth technology to do it. So someone goes <laughs> to Earth technology, and Earth goes <laughs> light. You got light <laughs> from future tech to you. Do you have a light lighter? Anyway, and because this, this one group wants to use future tech to stop me, and it's like, well, you know, I was raising up civilization, and like, anyway, they just really wrecked everything, and then, and then I decide, I'm like, you know what, fuck the future, I'm just gonna go and live in my time and space, you know, and do whatever. Anyway, that was my vacation, it's my planet, and I was just chilling. You know, I wasn't even really like, living it up! I never really lived like a king, and nor would I. I mean, it's like, yeah, well, it's a palace, but I don't really need a palace. They're kind of drafty. They are. They say. Anyway, never was in a palace. Um, might have been in a palace one upon, once upon a time, but, you know, I never really did the palace thing. I was always, you know overseeing projects or making sure this was done, making sure that was done, making sure people had water, you know, that's, that, that was my life. That's what I do. Um, so, you know, except for, you know, my vacation, which got ruined, which I had, I postponed and put off forever because I was like, well, let's make sure we get all the, the real things done and then we'll, we'll, I'll worry about the vacation. And so, you know, well, you might call me a workaholic anyway, though, but, but I mean, I have, you know, I have a lot of responsibility, like, like people, races, like making sure laws and everything, making sure everything's done right. I mean, you know, that's a lot of responsibility and I never shirked off on the responsibility. It's, I take it very seriously that I'm the creator of humanity and nine other races. I mean, what kind of creator would I be if I just was like, whatever, <laughs> we're going to party up and have sex with all these women. It's like, uh, yeah, we'll worry about the, the sex and all that later on. Let's go ahead and get the water system done first and the housing done and everything. Um, so, I mean, I do all that. And as far as partying and living it up, I was always like, yeah, whatever. I don't really care about that. You know, I'm more worried about the starving people because I don't like to see that. Anyway, though. So anyway, so someone's finally like, you know, whatever, well, we're going to go live it up while you worry about everything else. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to worry about everything else and you guys can do live, live it up, whatever. Anyway, though, but basically they just use me for running the country and running the government and making sure everyone's safe and happy. And then eventually at some point in time, they decide to try and kill me. Anyway, that doesn't really work out for them. Um, and then they start killing people to try and get me, get get the people to, I don't know, to kill me, something or other. Anyway, I don't really know, I don't really care, and it's a time, space, whatever thing, and I don't really care, you know. So eventually, anyway, though, I get put here, basically, and I can finally tell my story to the people, but the people should already, already did know, or I do know, you know, who I was or what I was beforehand. So do nine other races. Which, supposedly, they finally got to space and got time ship and went back and killed me and tried to create themselves or something like that. I don't know. Which is kind of funny because it's like, um, you can't create yourself. You need someone that was here before you to create yourself and then you have to somehow kill that someone. So, you know. Anyway, now those people are just bitter little bitches because of the fact that they couldn't really kill themselves and they still needed me and somebody still knew about me. Anyway. And now they want to say, oh, you don't exist, you're not true, you're blah, blah, blah. And anyway, though, it's been the story of my life, and they're just really annoying. <coughs> anyway, though. And they're just bitter because they couldn't create themselves, and they needed someone to create them first, and then they could blah, 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 blah. <coughs> <laughs> and it's kind of funny because it's like, I told him in the beginning, I was like, um, you can't do that. That's impossible. Um, you're still going to need me to create you. And then you're going to have to worry about trying to kill me. But then it's like everybody, because I created you, then blah, 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 blah. And I'm not even going to worry about it because it's not my problem. It was their problem. Anyway, so that's basically what's going on or what happened with that, and they were kind of bitter about it.